All right, good afternoon, people. Today, we are going to be painting a jerk bait in uh, kind of like a purplish gold shad color. Um, you'll see when it comes out, but I put a little twist on it um, because there's a couple a couple jerk baits out there, a couple shad patterns like it, but I like it because not every shad that you see has one color along the back. Um, most of them are kind of like a silverish color, but they their scales kind of shimmer, right? So today we're going to do that. Um, I've already painted one and I put it, posted it on Facebook. Um, so if you haven't seen it, you can go check it out over there or Instagram. But um, yeah, we're going to paint that one today. And then I think we're going to paint a couple more. Um, and we're going to make kind of like a whole series of videos. Um, but I'll, I'm going to paint them all today. I'm just going to put videos out. Um, kind of space them out whenever I don't go fishing. So let's get into the uh, painting. guys so today we're going to start out with this 110 style jerk bait um, and the one thing that makes it about the 110 is the weight transfer uh, system inside it with the ball bearings but regardless we're going to be painting this jerk bait right here so let's get it prepped I'm going to uh, tape the bill put a base coat on it and then go from there. I have a little bit of camera issue, but so instead of gold, I put black down. I put the black, a black face and a black strip. This is really gonna help the gold look like a darker color and that purple look like a darker color. Um, now why I didn't mix the black in with these colors, um, I think the black overpowers these colors too much, especially since they're a pearlized color. So, I sprayed that down. You won't really see any of it too much because we're gonna over we're gonna spray the overspray past the black on each one of these. So it's just gonna help that color pop even more um, to where we want it and give it that dark, uh, deep dark gold and deep dark purple. So we're gonna go ahead and spray the uh, the purple on the back, and then we're gonna go down to the gold and. Uh, put a little bit of purple on there as well. All right, for you, for those of you who don't know which purple I'm using, I'm using this pearlized plum color. Um, I could go with the opaque purple, but it's just it's dark, and I like the gl the the shimmer the pearlized colors give. But I could go with the the regular purple without the black on there, and it would work just fine. But I want that little extra shimmer from the pearlized color. All right, we got our purple in there. And get all that black, extra black out. And then uh, start shooting. So the purple for right now is just for the back. Um, just to give it that nice little purple sheen. And we're going to even drop drop down right onto the shoulder of the bait. So it gives it that nice transition. And we'll do it on the other side as well. Just want to hit that shoulder of the bait really good. And... Jeez. Oh, There we go, we want a little bit of overspray. Perfect. All right, we're gonna heat set that and then get the gold out. All right, we've got our gold in there. We're gonna just hit the face of it where this black is. And then 
go over the top a little bit. And hit up the other side. Dropped it there. All right, if you notice, it gives it kind of a deeper, deeper gold color um, than just the translucent. You can still see a little bit of black in there, but that's what we want. We want to make it dark, like a all right, so now I'm going to heat set this and I'm gonna put some purple back in there and just kind of hit up the face a little in little different spots and uh, get this purple uh, fade back towards the head a little bit. All right, we got our, our purple in here and we're just gonna kind of hit up a little bit of uh, little spots on the, on, the, on the gold. I'm not gonna make it too pronounced But we're just going to give it that pinkish touch. And then on the back, I want to... Give it that little bit of fade in. I just want a light powdering on the face. Almost to give it kind of a rose gold color. Um, that's probably like the best way I can describe it. Is like a rose gold. Um, but that's it. Uh, we're going to get some eyes on this and then dip it in the in the top coat, and it'll be ready to fish. Um, if you have any questions on how I did things or uh, how I mix my paints or yeah just any in general questions i've learned so much over the past couple weeks that i've been doing this um that I, i'm pretty sure i can answer some questions uh right about now but if you have any questions about this bait or any of the other baits i do um just leave a comment down below if you like this video hit that thumbs up button um and if you want to go check out finished products of my uh of my fishing lures I'll leave a, a link down below uh, to my Instagram where I post all the finished products of my baits um, so people can see them. But thanks for watching. I hope this, uh, I hope somebody tries this out besides me and maybe y'all perfect it a little bit. But thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.